Hello, uh, welcome to our little painting session here. And um, this is one of the abstract series that I'm doing, hopefully a series of five for YouTube, although I'm away next week, so we'll see if we get next week's done tomorrow or not. Anyway, I have an idea of uh, where I'm starting, and I'm not starting with a brush. I'm going to start with some scribbles, because that's what this is all about, right? Scribbles and marks. So, not, I'm trying not to overthink these. And you know what, I, I don't have, I've been using these new Neocolor 1s because the color doesn't come up and I'm super excited about them actually, but I, I didn't order all that many colors. So I'm going to reach for a colored pencil. I like that. Not much for my colored pencil, but worth it. And I think I'm going to start with my darker color, my dark blue that I use a lot. And I've mixed up little colors in these little um, plastic containers, cups, I guess you can call them. And gosh, her name is Caroline or Carolina on Instagram. It was, um, I got the idea from her, Making Me is her, I think it's Making Dot Me on Instagram. Um, that is her, uh, what she goes by, and she's worth looking up. So I'm on some of that, and I'm on some purple. Um, so anyway, what this mixture is, I'm sorry, it's a mixture of an inexpensive dark midnight blue, deep midnight blue, deep midnight, and then some Dina Wakely Night, uh, some Arantha Blue by Golden and some White Gesso by Black. I'm and Black, sorry. Some White Gesso, just a little bit. And then I put some black in it just to give a little bit more texture. So that's the story behind that. And when I get into my purple, it is just a Dick Blue Red Deep um, with some gesso. Not sure if that's white gesso. I think it's white gesso, but I'm not positive. Might be white and black again. So, oh, you know what? Before I put this on, gosh, I just dunked that in the. In there, I want to put a little buff color on here. So I'll put some, I have a palette over here. I'm going to put some on the palette. And I'm going to put just a touch of gray in it. Sorry if you can't see this over here. But that's what I'm going to mix up. So here's Ivory. Is that Ivory Titan Buff, I guess it's called, by Golden. And some gesso and just a teeny bit of gray. Just because I don't want to lose all of that beige color. I'm putting the white gesso in there. Might need a, just a titch more gray, I think. All right. Gonna mash that together. It's way more than I'm sure I'll need. Well, that kind of gets some of that yellow out of that Titan Buff too. I actually kind of like that color, even though I just experimented with it now. See how easy it is to clean that off. Although I'm gonna stick it in my water anyway. All right, so. Thank you. 
just want to have fun with my paintbrush here. some pieces where I want them to kind of feel like a lake and I felt like I was getting in a rut with the blue of the lake so I am putting this gorgeous purple in here and we'll just see hopefully we'll like it we'll see Just a little bit of black down in this area right here. drawing a brush over them. I don't actually think a lake would be complete without 
some warm colors coming into it. I'm gonna, now that I washed my brush out, I'm gonna add some blues down here too. Now what I'll sometimes do, I'll put those in and then I'll just up a little bit of their color so they're not quite as bright just like that I like how that blends in a little bit so that these remain the most important I'm kind of curious if I take that yellow put a little bit of gray into it that looks terrible all right I'll do that All right, I ended up adding just a little bit of yellow oxide to this yellow because it's just a little too much for me. And I dropped some uh, water in here, which I think it's fabulous, actually. Pick up just a little color. There's just a couple of additional things I want to do today. And then I'm going to let it rest overnight and see what I think of it in the morning. I want to put some darker scribbles in here and I am doing it with a paintbrush and I want that to continue over to here I like that then I'm going to do the same. I did that with a darker, what I'm hoping is a darker purple. I don't want it to jump out at me, but I want it to show up a little bit. And then I also want to do that with a dark color coming up here. Because we are talking scribbles and marks, right? So I did put this away and think about it overnight. And a couple of things that I decided to do was... I had this paint chip and when I compared it to the color that I had there, I decided I wanted to brighten up this green. So I did that and this was originally a mixture of um, a Blick Celadon and a Blick Blue Green Light. And um, you can see it has kind of a more neutral tone. This one I used Celadon, but instead of that blue green light, I used this um, <clears throat> green gold by golden and that just is a way brighter color i was kind of aiming for this which is actually celadon and yellow and you know i have to say if you have a bunch of paint chips around that is just really helpful for that the other thing that i decided to do was i wanted to um i also had a paint chip that was a little bit different color than my yellow and that paint chip is this it's light magenta um, Indian yellow and then just the teeniest tiny drop of cobalt and of course some gesso. I usually put gesso in each one so that it kind of coats the paper on top of the multiple coatings that I have. I, I don't know, that's probably, I may or may not want to do that. That's just probably silly. But anyway, I'm going to go over these again and see if I like this new color just a little bit better. So 
so we'll just see how this is. You know, I kind of debated about between this and a darker coral and, um, gosh, probably thinking way too much at the end here. But I want it to be the end. I'm, I actually don't make apologies for that because I want it to be the best that I can make it. And you know that the camera is such that you probably can't even see the difference in those two colors, but I do like just um, a teeny bit more of an orange color in there. So see, I kind of like just scraping that up a little bit. Now, the one final thing that I want to, I think at least it's kind of the one final thing I want to do, is I want to put a really um, strong another doodle mark over here. And maybe I'll, I might even just connect this with this so that it looks like it's going in here and then coming up over here. So let's see what that looks like. Um, this one, um, I'm not going to use the same color. I'm going to use just a little bit darker color. I don't know that uh, I don't know that you can tell that's a darker color, but I'm going to practice a little bit over here. It's helpful for me to practice doing a scribble before I actually do it, just to get a feel for that brush on this particular day. And like I said, I want this to be pretty a pretty strong line that runs through there. It is one of the main characters in this for whatever reason. I do believe. So we'll just see how that goes. Hopefully okay because I really like where we're at. This now let's see if I can do this a little bit looser over here. I felt like I was tightening up as I was trying to perfect that. So And I like that a lot. I want this to be a little more def definitive over here. But I like that flow. And I do wish I had a dark blue wax crayon. I think that would make me able to just be a little more free flowing. But, but I don't, and so this is good. And I think the only other thing uh, that I want to add is I want to just get a few more drips in here. And I'm calling it done. I like that, and I don't want any more than that. That's just enough of a suggestion for me. Uh, what 
what do I like about this? You know, I do really like, I do really enjoy these last lines that I put in. They really are a main focal point for me in this piece. Um, I do like the fact that there's, uh, in my mind anyway, I have this brilliant purple abstract lake and the blue hints. It's just a little, it's, it's an abstraction of what I see when I look out my window. Um, I always like my splatters. That's just part of me and who I am and put I, what I put in each painting. So I like the variation of the colors here. I like the dark blue, the lighter blue, into the purple and yet over here there's totally different colors there's a purp there's a green versus a blue versus a a um orangey coral color so i am i am really happy with this and i hope that you enjoyed watching me have a blessed day enjoy your painting